What does it take for a movie to make you cry? Ooh, I don't know if it takes one thing. Um, I just know I cry a lot, especially in movies. And I have been my whole life. I don't know, people, I don't know. Relation, it's, you always got something to do with relationships almost all the time. Movies that have made me cry, top of my head. You see Lion? Oh gosh, yes, <sighs> yes. Amazing. That movie fucked me up. Man. Yeah. I was quivering. It was rough. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I mean, the music had something right. to do with it. Mm -hmm. That actress that played his mother at the end was terrific. I don't know where they found her. Uh, okay, so not. Oh, oh, the. the I just the, in spoiled India. The movie. Sorry. Oh, no. yeah. It's, Sorry, it's, okay. Encouraged. Right. The spoiler alert. Okay, yeah. we'll put that in the thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Color Purple messes me up every time I watch it. I watch that movie once a year. Oh, wow. Easily. And uh, every time when he splits the sisters up, and then when Oprah sees Whoopi in the shop at, toward the end, kills me every time. And I know it's coming, I know it's gonna happen, and then I'm just like, here it comes. That one gets me. Um, thin red line every time I watch it. It's like a crying festival. Pretty sad. Leaving Las Vegas? I didn't cry in leaving Las Vegas. Oh, you Vegas. didn't? Mm -hmm. but, it, but it was devastating. Oh yeah, Cuckoo's Nest, the ending of Cuckoo's Nest every time. It's brutal, but it's triumphant, but it's brutal at the same time. Wow. And that's what gets you, you know what I mean? Right, right. How about you? Oh man, definitely Lion movie. Um, Possibly even Forrest Gump. Okay. <laughs> I, I can see why. I can see why. <laughs> I mean, I think when he saw Jenny and she's got her short hair and the little boy and, you know, he's just like, he looks like me or oh, whatever, you know, and it just, <laughs> you know, um, and, and, you know, just I, that, yeah. The deer hunter. Hmm. Every time. I know he's rough. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting if you go to cinema and you sit next to someone or near someone and they're just bawling and you just feel so bad, but you know, you can't say anything to them. You can't ask, are you okay? Because it's not, that's just their, this is part of it, you know? That happened to me and uh, I was watching Tree of Life and I saw oh, Tree of Life yeah. in the movie theater because, you know, it, was a, it used to be in a, a major event when a Malick film came out. And uh, I went in the morning, I went like the 10 a.m. show and I'm watching it and like three quarters of the way through, I'm like bawling. And I find myself, there's a woman sitting next to me. And uh, suddenly I realized we're holding hands. Oh, wow. And had been <laughs> for, like, for like five minutes. Cause we were just so emotional, like both of us. And we're, we had gone to the movies alone. And we were just had unconsciously grabbed each other's hand. We were just like clinging to each other's hands. Wow. Yeah, I never had an experience like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I'm stunned right now. That actually is its own movie. <laughs> yeah. That could be the next, hmm, about being alone in a group of people and how mm. isolated everybody is. Right. And then you end up realizing that you have your hand held by a stranger. Yeah, and the movie you're watching is just this exploration of the human experience at a depth you hadn't seen before. Right. It just Beautiful. touches you on so many levels. The music and everything, yeah. 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 Wow, that's a really cool experience. What did you say afterwards? Or nothing? You didn't say anything? We just talked about the film a little bit. Oh. It's like, like, oh, did you like his last film? It was superficial. Right. Huh. Oh, that's its own movie right there. Yeah. That's great. 